Hello, everybody. Um, in this lesson, we're going to continue with lesson 11.6, use area models. So in the last couple of sessions, we've been talking about and exploring the concept of area. So our essential question today is, why can you multiply to find the area of a rectangle? And we're on page 473 of the third grade textbook. I'll lock the problem. Christina has a garden that is shaped like the rectangle below. Each unit square represents one square meter. What is the area of her garden? Okay, it says circle the shape of the garden. Well, it's shaped like a rectangle. So one way we can do that is just count all the squares in the rectangle shape. So how many unit squares are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, you didn't have to add by ones all the way across. You could have realized, okay, well, there's six in this row. So six, six plus six, six is 12, six plus 12 is 18. But basically, the idea is when we talk about area remember it's the number of square units that cover an uh, an object or shape and in this case there are 18 square units well we could also use repeated addition so how many rows are there there's one two three rows and how much is in each row there's six right three rows of six so there's six unit squares in this row Six unit squares in the second row, six unit squares in the third. So six added three times is 18. So again, the area is 18 square meters. Well, <clears throat> we know that multiplication is the same as repeated addition, right? So again, count the number of rows. and count the number of unit squares in each row. So we have one, two, three rows of six. How many unit squares are in each row? Six. There are three rows. So this rectangle is like an array. Well, how do you find the total number of squares in an array? You multiply. So we multiply an array by the number of rows by how many is in each row. So in this case, we have three rows of six, and three times six is 18. So again, all three methods, we came up with 18 square units. Okay, the reason we can multiply is each row has the same amount. Okay, so I whether you count by one square unit at a time or repeatedly add the rows or multiply the rows, you'll always get the same area. All right, so let's try this. <clears throat> Find the area of the figure. Each unit is one square foot. And so it's saying, think there are four rows of 10 unit squares. One, two, three, four four rows, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten in each row. So often you'll see this referred to as a four by ten rectangle. So four times ten is forty. All right, how about number one? Look at the figure. How many rows are there? There's one, two, three rows. And how many are in each row? One, two, three, four. So we have three rows of four. So one method we could use is to repeatedly add how much is in each row. Four plus four plus four. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is 
12. Or we could just multiply. 3 rows of 4 is 12. So what's the area of this figure? 12 square units. <clears throat> Number 2, find the area of the figure. Each unit square is 1 square foot. Well, I see that there's two rows, and in each row I see two, four, six, seven. Okay. So two times seven, or seven times two, is 14 square units. Do I have to put the square units? Yes. Okay. That's how we know the difference between perimeter and square units or three-dimensional shapes that have that would be cubed. All right, number three. We have three rows and in each row I see one, two, three, four, five. So three rows of five is 15 square units. All right, number four. Find the area each of the figure. Each unit square is one square meter. <clears throat> one, two, three, four rows. And in each row we have two, four, six, eight. So four times eight. Remember four times eight is the same as saying eight times two doubled. 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 plus 16 is 32. Again, it's just easier to know that 4 times 8 is 32. Okay, but I'm not finished with this answer, because I have to identify what is the square measurement here. 32 square meters. Number 5. Three rows, and in each row we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three rows of nine equal. Remember that whenever I multiply a factor by nine, the product, the answer to the multiplication problem, will be one less than the number being multiplied by the nine. So in the tens place, it's going to be a two. So 20. 7. 3 times 9 is 27. Remember that the sum of <clears throat> the product when multiplying by 9 adds up to 9. From um, 9 times 1 to 9 times 9. Okay. Right. So number 6, page 475. Find the area of the figure. Each square Unit square is one square foot. So we have four rows of three. So four times three, four sets of three. We should know that just by memory, but four, eight, twelve. Twelve square. Number seven, four by five. So four sets of five, five, 10, 15, 20. 20 square feet. Number eight, each unit square is one square meter. One, two, three, four, five rows. And there's eight in each row. So five times eight. Eight fives is 40 square meters. Number nine, two, four, I have five rows again. I have Five going across, so we have a square here. 
So 5 times 5 is 25, where meters. Draw and shade three rectangles with an area of 24 square units. Then write an addition or multiplication equation for each. <clears throat> well, let's think about this. What are some ways we can make 24? Well, we know one times 24, right? One times anything is the other number. So if I do one row of 24, are there even 24 squares here? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah. So we could make one really long row. Of 24. And so that would just be written as a 1 by 24. And write an addition or multiplication equation for each. So 1 times 24 is 24 square units. Let's call this shape A. So shape A, 1 by 24. What's some other ways of making 24? Um, three. Three times what is 24? Let's see. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So three rows of two, four, six, eight. Oh yeah, okay, so three times eight is 24. All right, how about four? Does four equal, can we get four to equal 24? All right, there's four rows, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. All right, so four times six would work. We're gonna call that shape C. Four times six is 24 square units. All right, so that's three. You might have said, well, what about two times 12? Yeah, that would work. Two times 12 would work. Okay. Could I have six rows of four? Yeah. Okay, you're just using the community property. You're just switching it around. You could have eight rows of three instead of three rows of eight. You could have 24 rows of one, although... There's not enough space to draw 24 rows. All right. 476, number 11. Compare the areas of the two rugs at the right. Each unit square represents one square foot. Which rug has the greater area? We have one, two, three, four rows of three in that one. And we have three rows of four in that one. Hmm. Well, they look like they have the same numbers. They're just turned differently. So four times three equals 12, and three times four equals 12. So which rug has the greater area? They are the same.
All right, they are the same. There is a total of 12 square feet in both rugs. Four times three and three times four is just the community property. All right, number 12. A tile company tiled a wall using square tiles. A mural is painted in the center. The drawing shows the, des the design. The area of each tile used is one square foot. Okay, write a problem that can be solved by using the drawing. Then solve your problem. <clears throat> so let's see, there's three rows of two, four, six, eight. So we have three times eight. And on the outside, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 square units for the border. 24 square units for the picture. Um, how many square feet are in the mural in the center okay so three times eight twenty four square feet <clears throat> You also could have written a question such as, how many square tiles make up the border? Or how many square units make up the border? Could have maybe asked, how many more square units are in the border than in the mural? Okay, something like that. Or we could even say, how many, what's the total area of the entire drawing with the mural and the border added together? All right, 13. Colleen drew this rectangle. Select the equation that can be used to find the area of the rectangle. Okay, area. One, two, three, four, five, six rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six times nine. Well, nine times six is the same thing. It's just the community property. So I do see nine times six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six nines? Yeah, that would be adding nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. Nine plus six. No, that's not right. Okay. Area is times the numbers, not adding the numbers. Six times nine. Yes, that would work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sixes? No, there would be nine sixes. So, no. So, those are the only choices for number 13. So, in that's it for using area models and why we can multiply to figure out the area of a shape. In our next session, we'll be talking about the mid chapter checkpoint for chapter 11. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.